Hey guys, it's Meg, and today I'm doing the what is on my iPhone video. Um, to realize, I don't know if this is like a tag. Do I have to look up stuff for this? It's a question tag. I don't know. Do I have to show you what's on my phone? Maybe I should have looked that up before I started this video. Does anyone even know what the questions are? What is on my iPhone tag questions? random blog. I was not tagged by anyone that I know of. Okay, so the first question is, what is your wallpaper? Well, my wallpaper is pretty boring. It's just the purple camouflage. There's something about it that I really, really like. It kind of reminds me of like, sounds so weird, but like Silly Putty, Zoe 101, the 90s. Yeah, those three things combined. The next question is, what apps do you have organized into groups on your first page? Well, okay, so this is kind of like when YouTube did the whole playlist thing. I just can't do it. Like, I obviously did the playlist thing in the end, but I never organized anything into groups unless it happened accidentally. So, I don't have anything organized into groups on the first page, so I guess I'll just skip to like any... You know what? I do not have anything organized into groups at all. At one point, I accidentally made a group, and the only thing in there was my calculator. Oh, so that's a negative. I do not have any groups on my iPhone. What is your bottom bar? Oh, that's actually a really good one. That's interesting. Um, it's probably what it came with. It's probably like the default. It's Safari, Mail, Phone, and Music. Pretty sure that is the default, unless everyone has Chrome now. Um, I still do not have the new iOS 7 upgrade either, so hopefully this is like fun for you guys. This is like a flashback. It's not just like, what the heck? Why is she living in Stone Age? But the next question is, actually tell me below what you have as your bottom bars, because I'm really interested now. Anyway, what are your most used apps on your front page? So on my front page we have messages, photos, cameras, settings, maps, calendars, notes, calculator, iTunes, clock, weather, passbook, Insta, eFree, and reminders. So pretty much the default except for like two things, but I'd say the ones that I use the most I'll do like the top three are obviously messages. Um, I'm not actually the per like type of person who's constantly texting, but sorry, I hear no. Oh, okay, never mind. I'm not usually the person that's like always texting, but I would use it the most out of any of the others. And then the second to that is cameras because there's something about selfies, man. Selfies. And also videoing everything. I just, I literally cannot let myself just live a moment. I have to capture it too. And it's probably a bad habit. But yeah, so messages, cameras, and then the third one I use the most would probably be my... My passbook. It's, oh, did I not say passbook? Yeah, I did. It has everything in it. It's literally like you can put all of your tickets and online barcodes and stuff all in one place. So since I travel a lot, all I have to do is put my password thing in that group thing. Yeah, so those are the three I probably use the most. The next question is, going back to my safari on my home bar, bottom bar, what, oh no. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What apps do you have grouped on your second page? These suck. I'm not feeling these questions. Actually, I'm just gonna do it like a tour. There we go. Maybe that's how we're supposed to do it. First of all, I just think you guys should take in this case. My Grammy sent it to me for Christmas, and it is the Gryffindor cost or the Gryffindor robes um, from like the neck up. Makes me very happy. Usually, I like to have like kind of like pastel colors or something that like that I'm like attracted to, like pink. But it's Harry Potter, so it kind of beats everything by a lot. I've already talked about the first page, but on the second page, I have voice memo, game center, stocks. Compass, newsstand, videos, running, <laughs> App Store, Pro HDR, Gmail, Skype, Twitter, Xmas Music, Instagram, What's Up, and Snapchat. So, I do not use voice memos, Game Center, or Compass um, at all. Do not know why I have those there. The running app, okay, so it's called running app, but I like it because even if you're not running, it will track how far you've gone. So like yesterday I used it, I actually used it for a hike I went on. So what we did, we just like pressed um, run, like go, and it doesn't, like it says obviously you're going really, really slowly, but it still tracks like everything. And oh my God, we were so tired and we're like, wow, we must have gone so far. And it was three kilometers. So um, I kind of hate the app, but I kind of like it too. There's this voice, like this Olympian girl who's always like shouting at you and she makes me really uncomfortable. So Pro HDR is the coolest app ever. It's so cool. If you ever want to take a picture of something and it's dark in front or it's like, 
you know when you're trying to take a picture and like the background is light and the foreground is dark or vice versa? What it does, it takes two pictures and it blends them together. So it makes it both. Next I have is Gmail. Okay, 236 emails on red. I'm very organized, guys. Very organized. Skype. I actually just got Skype again on my phone because I had to delete it because I wanted to download events to like other beauty gurus not to like say we're the opposite of important things happening in the world but anyway the next thing xmas music i should probably delete that but i'm in i'm in denial i don't want it to be winter but i don't want it not to be christmas um and then i have instagram Ooh, that might be tied up there with twitter but i'm obsessed um i like my fingers will just like go to it like i'll just click on it subconsciously and realize I've been scrolling through Instagram for like five hours. But the next app on this page is Snapchat. Again, I just re-downloaded that after I realized I couldn't even get the other updates. But Snapchat, I don't really know. I haven't figured it out quite right. I just, I keep getting, it keeps telling the plus sign and I can't actually add anyone and I think it's because I tweeted it one day because I didn't know it was like, I thought I could just be like, oh here's my Snapchat, send me pictures, but apparently I have to add everyone who does, which is lame because I want to see your cool pictures without having to add everyone because it takes too long um, or maybe there's a way, I just haven't figured it out. But Snapchat confuses me. Um, I get the basic idea that, you know, it only shows up for a matter of time and if they screenshot it, you can see it. Which scares me because I basically screenshot everything. I hope they just don't look at that point, but they probably do. Um, but yeah, Snapchat, Snapchat, dot dot dot. I don't know Snapchat. I'll figure it out eventually. Okay, then I have two more pages, but it's so weird. So the first has five on it, and the second has two. Um, I on this one I have my Fitness Pal, Tumblr, Uber, YouTube, and Waze. My Fitness Pal, I don't actually, I haven't been on it a really really long time. I thought it was an exercise app, but it's more of a food app. Like it's more of a you track what you eat app, so um, yeah. I think it probably has an exercise part, but I don't know, because I don't really go on it. But the next one, again, something I should probably delete. It's like a room, I need to clean it out. But it's funner to show you guys before I clean it out. All right, the next thing is Tumblr. Mm, Tumblr, my, my, um, what's that thing? Was that also, can make you like, feel good about yourself. Well, not just because you relate to them, but they're also, they're also kind of like flattering. Tumblr, man, I still love it. I really love it, clearly. I'm like addicted to it. All right, the next app is Uber. It's a taxi service, actually, or like a private car service, but it's basically a taxi. My credit card is hooked up, or my debit card, is hooked up to the app, and then I just press it and wait for my car to come, and I don't have to pay anyone, so it's really, really awesome. And then Waze is my traveling app, or my Navi. Um, it's so cute, it's cute because you start as like a baby Wazer or whatever, and then you grow into like a grown-up Wazer the more you drive and use Waze, and you can collect candy, and this sounds like a really weird Navi, but it's cool, okay, I promise. Outsmarting traffic, together. <laughs> baby Waze is so cute me home today. I was at a meeting this morning and I got very lost coming home and it fixed it. It found me home. <laughs> okay, so the next one is, or the next page is my photo editing apps. I just missed my mouth. I was trying to be all secretive because, um, yeah, you guys ask me what I use for photo editing a lot. I don't even know why it's secretive, but I use PicFix, Afterlight, and then on my first page I have like a collage maker if I need to put things together, but PicFix is great. Um, it's, it just, both of them have so many filters that it's probably bad because it takes me forever to choose which filters I want to use on pictures. Oh, Instagram, I love you, sorry. I get little banner notifications when my friends like my photos and I get this warm fuzzy feeling inside. That is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Um, wee! I'm so awkward with the outros, but happy, happy fake spring. In Meg's world, it's fake spring. And I will see you guys later. Bye.